is up y'all hope y'all having a wonderful day we are here in kingsley michigan at the kingsley club this course has been on the bucket list for some time now and we're here teeing it up for the very first round of golf i've ever played in michigan course looks so pure and we've got a beautiful afternoon for it just going to jump straight into one right now par five 605 yards and talk about undulation on the fairway wow we're just going to be teeing it up right up and over those bunkers there in the middle of the frame. Kind of down the left side. I think it should be fine. Next time I play here, I'm going to want to take it definitely further right. We are right here, a little bit in the wispy stuff, and a long ways home. Probably, I'm gonna say like 280 up the hill, so we are not gonna be able to reach it, especially with that tree in the way. So we're just gonna be laying something up, right up in there. We're gonna go with the nine iron here. did find the rough, pulled it a little bit. I was looking for it to be more like down right in there. However, 105, why is remotely decent and pin looks to be pretty accessible. I'm gonna go with a smooth little sandwich here. I think that could be pretty good right there. Found the putting surface in regulation in our first hole in Michigan, right here, about like 12 feet here. Would love to get the rock rolling today. Drop a like down below if you enjoy these traveling course vlogs all over the country. Really enjoy traveling this summer and hope y'all have enjoyed coming along. See if we can't get a pin slammer here on our very first hole in Michigan. absolutely love to see the tweeter here on one one under through one we're on a number two par three really cool looking par three it's playing about 155 went off started this round of golf without my range finder so we're gonna be guesstimating some yardages today and kind of set on the left side there looks like we got a little room to the right of it i'm gonna go with a choke down nine iron Walking up from the right side of the green. We've got a lengthy one here, probably about 40 feet, it looks to be. And this is pretty sloped right here. I landed like right over in there, spun to here. We'll fix that pitch mark here in a second. See if we can't get this rock just on fire. I didn't discuss it on the first tee, but from the tips, we are playing the tips 7,005 yards with a rating from the gold tees of 73.8 and a slope of 143. So a solid test of the game. One under through two, we're on number three. Car four, 426. Looks like it bends to the right. So we just wanna keep it kind of left of those bunkers there. I don't see a reason why not to hit driver. Just kind of right center there. I will take a bucket of those drives right there. We did hang on to the right side of the fairway. Pin is set just over that bunker there. 87 yards, a little help and breeze. Let's knock it close. We are going with the lob wedge. That's what you call a slight chunk, landed a little short and spun way off the green. 
So here's where it trundled to, landed up there. I needed it to land probably about four or five paces further. Like I said, back in the fairway, did not hit that one solid. That was a little chunky. This was a very gettable pin. Probably try to land something right in here, let it hop and trundle to the flag. was a sloppy bogey right there. Well, that gets us back to level par. Still in great shape to shoot a good number here today. Just kind of getting loosened up and warmed up here in Michigan. Loving the Kingsley Club so much so far. It's tough to tell on camera, I'm sure, how undulated these fairway slopes are. It's wild. We're on number four, par four, 470. We are on the very back box here. You see that rock there up close? We're gonna be kind of taking it left center of that for our target line. There's some bunkers there on the left that you don't really want to hit in. And this fairway looks like it slopes big time from right to left. I hit that one even a little further right than I was planning on, but the bounce that it took on the first hop probably should have had a further right target. I hope on camera you can tell how uphill of a slope that is. Maybe by putting the cart in there you can see. Right up there roughly is where my ball landed and this is crazy sloped. Thankfully like right here there is like a little collection area where it kind of flattens out, even slopes slightly left to right. So we are in good shape right here. When I was going from two green to three T, I got a look at this green complex. It's kind of a little bit of a bowl shape in the back, especially on the left side. So even if we favor a little left of the flag, it should hop to the right. I've got 181 into the wind. So I'm gonna try to flight down a little seven iron here. Not our best approach here. This is greenside bunker on hole number two, and we have got quite the shot here. So we've got some work to do. This is very sloped right here. So honestly, I don't think I wanna land it short. I think I wanna land it almost at the hole and let it roll just a little past because there is a kind of a back slope behind there. I think it might roll back. Unfortunately, I didn't get any roll back. I think I needed to hit it further right, and maybe it would have. However, we've got about, I don't know, 12 feet left for par. Let's see if uh, we can roll this in and not make it back-to-back bogues. That was huge for the team morale right there. We have a really sweet par three here, number five. I am gonna be playing it up slightly so you can see the surface of the green. I normally try to play the back box on every hole, but shot like that, really cool par three. I want you to be able to see the surface of the green if you can. 191 into the wind. I think I'm gonna go with a, maybe a smooth little six iron here because the wind's kind of starting to pick up. I think it was on a pretty decent number, just kind of just left over that little knoll there. We're on the back side of the green. There is our pitch mark, hop to the right on us, and there's the pin. A little past pin high, about 40 feet here, putting down the hill, probably breaking right to left. Short game, the last two holes coming up huge for us. Remain at level par through five. We're on number six, par four, 396. See the green there off in the distance? 
We're gonna go with a four iron here. I don't think this is driver. We're just gonna be kind of going right at the grain. see right there how much this fairway is sloped we are absolutely perfect right here 120 left little help and breeze pin looks to be set pretty much in the middle there so I'm gonna go with a smooth sand wedge these fairways are fescue so is the rough and all the native area as well fescue except for the tee boxes and the greens which are bent grass this place is pure and want to thank the Kingsley Club so much for having me out I don't think it's in, but it did disappear and it was right at the cup. I'm gonna go ahead and end the drama real quick. Um, it disappeared because it was long, <laughs> like 30 feet. Still a good swing, just misjudged that wind a little bit because it landed a good 25 feet over the hole and then kind of hopped forward a little bit. I was maybe playing like 105, so need to pay more attention to the wind. That was a good line, just a little bit too much pace. Putter has been big today. Gentle pin placement here on number six. Level par on a number seven, par five, 569. And this hole looks pretty crazy. This is what we're looking at and it does look very tight, but it is a par five and I definitely didn't come here to lay up. I think our aiming point is going to be somewhere right in there because everything slopes hard right to left. It's going to be okay. It was a little left to where I wanted it. I'm not sure if it got into those trees or not. So this is a massive slope here. It does kick everything down into these trees. Got roughly 235 into the wind. We've got a little gap here, so the trees shouldn't be too much of an issue. Even if you do hit down here, you're gonna be able to hit something out of it. But if you're further right into these trees like we are here, you may be able to get something up on the green. Since we were being aggressive off the tee, we're gonna be aggressive here. Our line's kind of over the center of this bunker here. Pretty good contact, we'll have to see. Are y'all kidding me? I hope you can see it from here. I just drove up to the top of the ridge that looks to be fractionally left of the flag, like four or five feet. That was absolutely the shot of the day right there. I cannot believe that. We picked a good line and the kind of the target that I had picked, it was just left of it, but you're always kind of guessing whenever you're like way down a hill and you can't exactly see. So we guessed very well you can see the pitch mark right here landed right here just on the front edge hop forward needed a little more trundle for the old double eagle the old double pin slammer here at kingsley gets us a two under let's go Hitting driver right there was definitely high risk, high reward. We got the reward right there. So we're on a number eight here, par four, 360, still back into the wind. Driver is not really the play here. I'm gonna go with three iron. You wanna lay up short of the bunker that's at 250. And with us playing into the wind, should be a good number with a three. Great looking hole. There's the bunker in the center of the frame that we're gonna be aiming at. Great shape here, 135, back up the hill and still into the wind. I'm actually gonna go with a flighted little nine iron here.
walking up from the right side of the green right on the number so he selected a good club landed right back there spun back probably about 35 feet here and not a ton of break in it maybe breaking from left to right so now that i walk behind the green it is not breaking that way it's actually probably pretty straight if not breaking the other way Still a good two putt, especially with the indecision on the first putt. Under the final hole here on the front nine and part one at the Kingsley Club, 162. And that flag is all the way left. And it does look like there is a backslope back behind the green there. I'm gonna go with an eight iron because it is under the wind. Well, that was just a fun shot right there. I landed it past and to the right, and then it spun back off that slope down short. I love part threes where you can see the surface of the green with massive slopes and you can kind of get the ball funneling. That was a fun shot. And honestly, kind of hit it how I wanted to. Maybe just should have been a little further left and it may not have ripped that hard, but we've got an outside chance of bird here. This is an awesome green. And this slope here on the backside is way more severe than I thought it was. I mean, this is a bowl right here. Almost kind of reminds me of a number nine out at Sweeten's Cove. So kind of cool. And I brought only my putter down here and we are off the green. So yeah, we're gonna to go get a little wedge. Break. Oh, I thought that thing was gonna break left. Well, with that eagle on seven, we finished two under here on the front nine, 33. This is a par 35 here on the front, the three par threes. Absolutely loving my first round of golf here in Michigan. Stay tuned for the back nine in part two. See if we can't shoot in the 60s here at the Kingsley Club. As for me, the Kingsley Club, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.